Well, YouTubers, this is the aftermath of the soup Sunday from my part of the contribution, cleaning up crock pots and my big soup pot. And working with church people can be very stressful. But, you know, it's, it's fun when a plan comes together and people just pitch in and help each other out. It's like a it's like a sports team working together for a victory. Victory in Jesus, if you will. Victory in steel. Victory in dishwasher. And I, I came up with a name for my, my big soup pot. That's going to be called Randy's Garbage Can. Because when you have a, a super big soup pot, you tend to throw everything in there that'll fit. You look, you're looking for the refrigerator. Throw, you know, what else can I throw in that soup? Let me try this. Let me try that. And an advantage of it too, when you're adding adding your spices, if you just add a little bit of a time with a with a super big batch, it's pretty hard to screw it up. But if, if, if you learn from each successive batch of soup, chili, or whatever you're making, and, and I was watching, I was watching, you know, the people and going through the line, and uh, more importantly, I was watching the garbage can to see what got thrown out and rejected, because that'll tell you, that's the proof in the pudding, what gets tossed in the can versus what, what, what gets eaten. And I learned that lesson the hard way when I bought some cheap spice instead of my McCormick chili powder and and I made my chili way too hot. The assistant pastor, mind you, you know, walked up to me with a bowl of chili because I was standing near the garbage can and he said, this is too hot. Give it a hard slam flip into the garbage can. Duly noted. Next time I stuck with the reliable spices. And don't over spice it. If you put too much in, you can't take it out. And a little bit at a time is you can adjust it. God bless the cooks.